It's launch day for Warrington Middle School. <laughs> Survive the first journey. Columbia City Elementary. Okay, we gotta make it through the door. In Y East Middle School in Vancouver. The 5th through 7th grade STEAM programs made many vessels to float across the ocean. Since the program start in 2017, more than 1,200 students have been involved in the launch of 24 mini boats that as of this morning have sailed 57,201 nautical miles. Work started on the boats in September from design to sanding to painting. It's a team effort to keep it afloat. So each group has their own part that they're working with, but collectively, all those parts have to work together to make the boat project a success. The boats are about the size of a fifth grader, about five feet tall, and the kids make every choice, including the name. This one is named Philbert he drew them and told by me fifth grader Bella story. Garcia. Phil loved to spend time with kids and get to know them. He passed away last year. I thought naming our boat after him would be a special tribute, and our class agreed. Um, Bella, your kindness to my husband in his last year of life with Alzheimer's will always be remembered. I can't put it into words. It's just, it's so meaningful to me, and that I know Philbert's going to go far because it has his memory on board. A little salt on top, a bow across the stern, a boat launch wouldn't be complete without an official christening even if it takes a few whacks to break it in. The U.S. Coast Guard will launch Filbert next month off the coast of California. You don't want to let it go, but other things, it's just very sad. Liberty and Goonies, yes, named after the movie, will launch later this week when the weather is better off the Oregon coast. For now, it's a test at sea. It never gets old. Um, I dream mini boats. Um, you get this weird, feeling when they're in the water where you feel nauseous, you feel excited, you feel warm inside. And then when you feel that way, you know it's a mini boat launch. Months of hard work connecting two countries across a huge ocean with a mini boat. This is not the end of their project. It's actually just the beginning. In Astoria, Devin Haskins, KGW News.